All right, we're uh, given a secant of an angle here, um, 13 twelfths, and we're given that the angle in terms of degrees is between 270 and 360, and we're asked to find the tangent of theta. So this is pretty clearly asking us to use the Pythagorean identity, tan squared theta plus 1 is equal to secant squared theta. So secant squared theta, if we plug in 13 twelfths, that's 13 twelfths squared, and that's 169 over 144. So tan squared theta, if we subtract 1 from both sides, is 169 over 144 minus 1, which is 169 minus 144 over 144 which is 25 over 144. And so tangent of theta, if we take the square root of both sides, is plus or minus the square root of 25 over 144, which is plus or minus, those are both perfect squares, so it comes out neatly, 5 over 12. And now the question is whether it's the positive one or the negative one, and we need to figure that out for the problem. But there's extra information given in the problem that we haven't used yet. We haven't used the fact that theta is between 270 and 360 degrees. So let me draw where theta would be, approximately. Here's my unit circle. There's in, in degrees, that's 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. And so theta is between 270 and 360. Theta is down there somewhere. So theta is an angle around there. And if you remember, all students take calculus. That tells you which of these basic functions are positive and negative in which the quadrants. In the first quadrant, they're all positive. Second quadrant, only sine is. Third quadrant, only tangent is. Fourth quadrant, only cosine is. And so, right, our theta is in the fourth quadrant, is in the fourth quadrant. Let me write that as theta is in quadrant four. So tangent of theta, only cosine is positive there. Tangent is not. So tangent of theta is negative. And so when we're choosing between this positive and negative square root here, we know we have to pick the negative one, negative 5 twelfths. So there are really two steps to figuring out how to do this problem. One is to remember this Pythagorean identity. Tangent squared theta plus 1 is equal to secant squared theta. And so then we take the value of secant theta that we're given, we plug it in, we work it down through, and we try to solve for tangent theta, and we end up taking a square root. So we get a, pl a plus or minus in there. And we don't know whether we want the positive or the negative. And so the second step there was to use the information given about what quadrant theta is in. And once we know that theta is in quadrant 4, we know that its tangent it has to be negative. That's from the all students take calculus rule. And so tangent theta is negative. We know we need to take the negative square root. That's how we get tangent theta is equal to negative 5 over 12. So that's our lesson on the Pythagorean identity tangent squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta. These are the trigonometry lectures for educator.com.